Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're trying to go early this morning. Ooh. Early enough for sunrise and flashing lights. Very early morning. How do you like how you look? I love how I look. I can't see good enough with my eyes all scrunched up this morning. It's only like <laughs> five o'clock. Five o'clock, off we go. Trying to catch some cool this morning. Yep. Because it's gonna be a hot one. So, yeah, so we're doing our little training loop around Moscow Mountain. I think I'm starting to wake up, that's good. We're at about, I don't know, maybe six o'clock now. And we brought our breakfast. That's something to look forward to. Another training trip. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? That's what they say. Okay. We're gonna stop for breakfast. Oh, yeah. It's Up good. clear to the top, no breaks. No breaks, all the way to the Sherry's gonna get arnica and yellow clavarius growing up in here, I think. This is a heart leaf arnica, and you can pick the blooms and buds and make a um, infusion in olive oil. Well, here we are in our setting down the arnica patch, picking us a little bit of arnica for making anti-inflammatory oil rub because when you're old hiker, you've got to have that. <laughs> this time last year, we moved out of our house into fifth wheel. And uh, that was a huge transition. Uh, we had lived next to my youngest son and daughter-in-law for several years. We rented a place there right after Daryl's cancer treatment. I just needed somebody really close to check in on him because um, he was so weak after we first got done with the stem cell transplants. So we lived there next to, our, next to our son and the grandkids, and that was a really, it was a good time of healing. I think the best part of that whole thing is that we lived right next to the U of I Arboretum. It was like right out the back door of our place there. And Daryl walked every day is a little loop around the Arboretum, rain, snow in the middle of the winter. He would just get out and he would take a walk. There was a little bench down by one of the ponds and he would walk and then he'd just sit down there by the bench and kind of um, rest up and then finish the loop. Uh, I remember he was so excited when he could actually go clear around uh, the walk there in the Arboretum, which isn't that far, but uh, it was a huge accomplishment. Yeah, so to be where we're at right now is so awesome. <laughs> now if I could just catch up with him. Mushrooms are so cool. I don't know what they are. This one is huge. I mean, it's almost as big as my hand. They're just popping up all over. Okay, we're just about at the last leg of the trail here before we hit the road going back to the cars. So this was an awesome mushroom I found, bigger like this. Brought it home, kind of broke it up open trying to identify it but uh, have not been able to positively identify so unfortunately that is not a keeper better safe than sorry 
So here's my flowers and my buds that I picked. And basically those are gonna get put in a jar, a uh, clean jar with, uh, then covered with olive oil. This is some that I did um, two weeks ago from our Selway trip. Arnica, uh, not to be used inside, don't eat it, uh, but it makes a nice rub. And Daryl and I use it on sore knees and shoulders and backs. Uh, we ain't dead yet, but we do need Arnica lemon. <laughs>